Well, residents in New Jersey have been dealing with days of flooding, and now they are having to deal with those cold temperatures. A cold blue has been activated across the Garden State, and Fox 5's Michelle Ross has the latest from a temporary shelter in Patterson. The Passaic River has posed major problems this last week for northern New Jersey residents. Oh my goodness, yes, it was horrific. The river is now finally receding, and tenants of this building, which houses seniors, are noticing. Were you able to leave with your car? Right now, yeah. But before I can bring, I can bring the car here. Those buses weren't even in there, they were all out because they, they had a big pool back there. But now today, it's right here, it was all the way up. But residual flooding remains. Water damaged cars still sit in place. A lot of my neighbors lost their cars. I don't drive. Thank God I'm on the, you know, I live on a higher floor. But it was, it was, it was horrific. It really was not good. Governor Phil Murphy toured different neighborhoods across the Garden State that were heavily impacted. Here in Patterson, the Riverside Veterans Center is a temporary shelter for anyone affected by the flooding. They also have food and cleanup kits. Inside are supplies from sponges, brushes, and mops. Officials say residents need immediate action. We want a short-term plan and at least the governor could sign a bill and give us that funding, emergency funding that we need to we could give it to the residents and the business owners that have lost everything. And this is the last night this shelter will stay open for anyone impacted by the back-to-back -back weather events. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. is when they will close. Reporting in Patterson, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.